Hi everyone, I'm Stan from Eagle Vision. I'm here with Lee from Chiron. Lee, welcome. Hi Stan. So we talked about last time about retrofitting an existing space, whereas this time around we actually want to talk about audio equipment in sound design and what are some of the things like placement of it and how to maximize your existing equipment and how to make it sound better basically. So um, Lee, what is important about placement of speakers and so forth? Yeah, it's, it's, it's incredibly important. I mean, right. it's quite frustrating at times when you see the way people have placed their equipment, they're, they're not getting anywhere near you know, mm -hmm. the quality that they could out of out of their investment. Right. Uh, so there's the biggest thing is that we want to try and recreate mm -hmm. a, a, a sound stage, if you like. So okay. a realistic environment. I mean, some, depending on what speakers you have, some do mm -hmm. it better than others, yep. but we can always you know improve that quality of the sound stage just by placing them correctly mm -hmm. within the okay. room. So, yep. um, if you can imagine, envisage, sorry, um, when I say sound stage, it's 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 being able to visualise where each of the musicians are placed right. on the stage. In when you're actually hearing the sound. Correct. And if it's right. done well, not mm. only should you have left to right, mm. but you should also have height and should also have depth okay. of, of stage as well. Right. So to achieve something like to get depth in particular, mm. you, you want to bring those speakers out in, from the in, wall into the room so okay. we for a really basic uh you know starting point we work mm. on uh, a rule of thirds right. so if um you know you bring the, the speakers out a third into the room yep. and then you create an equilateral triangle between the distance between your listener okay. and each of the speakers so yep. typically start at about you know a three meter equilateral triangle between you know the two speakers and, mm. and your ears and that's yep. that's a pretty good starting point right okay cool um and what about stereo versus surround sound i'm sure a lot of people have said oh wow surround sound i can put all sorts of speakers everywhere yes, yes. how does that work well a surround sound is you know its primary focus is for movies Mass right. i'm a massive movie fan <laughs> um but i'm also you know uh, a massive musician a music fan and sure. you know being a musician and we don't want to listen uh, to you know, music in surround sound. Okay, um, that's interesting. Primarily because you know it wasn't mixed that way. We didn't. We didn't the bass right. player wasn't magically levitating Sitting behind you, but behind you. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, they, they were placed in a stage okay. in front of you. So to create that more realistic effect, I mean, it might be, you know, it might feel interesting and exciting to mm. to have these effects going, but it doesn't create a more realistic environment for for music. It can yeah. do for crowds and so, something like that. There's an okay. argument for that, but typically, uh, you know, it's a, more about a sound stage and the music comes in front of us. Music in front of you and creating that 3D effect from your stereo. Uh-huh, okay, fair enough. All right, so now budget. Typically that becomes a fairly important point yep. around audio equipment. Absolutely. How do you deal around that? I guess is less less is more, okay. you know, especially with, with music. So invest in less less toys mm. and you know, sink it into things of, of quality. Yep, sure. So if music is an important thing in your life or in your customer's life, mm. then rather than investing in surround system, surround system where you're, you're trying to spread that load across up to you know, nine pieces of equipment, mm. Mm. invest that into two incredibly Really good, high quality, high quality speakers, yeah, sure. amplifiers, okay. preamplifiers. Yeah, interesting. Um, and I've noticed that your speakers versus some of the others that I've seen, mm. they're an open design yeah. rather than a closed box. How did you decide on that? Well, it's it's kind of a, a first principles thing. Uh, okay. you know, a, a speaker box, you get uh, efficiency in base, so it's like free amplification. Uh huh. Okay. What you when you have an enclosed environment. Correct. The right. trade-off is you actually get this in, this sound. So oh. you're creating a resonance within the box. Right. You're also uh, transferring that energy into the box that you've made. So that then that box radiates sound. So we don't mm. have we don't have a box to radiate, and we yeah. don't have a cavity within inside that box to radiate well, to to, re to resonate. Should I say? Yeah. yeah. So the, all of those create colors, if mm -hmm. you like that. You know, is not drawn from the source originally. Yeah, right. So we're trying to be as true to the source as possible. That's interesting. So as a, as a musician, the first time I heard a dipole speaker. Okay, um, is that what these are called? This is a dipole, yes, speaker without a, bike, a box, it's called yep. a dipole. Yep. Uh, I, was, I was blown away that I could hear a concert bass drum sound mm. like a concert bass drum. So as a percussionist for me, mm. I was always frustrated by, it was always just a boom effect. Right. But this but there's was- there's many layers within uh, that. I could tell that it was a calf head and hit with a certain type of mallet. Wow. You know, you could hear that all of a sudden. Mm. You get that level of detail in the bottom end. And when you fix the bottom end, all of that is like building a great foundation. Uh-huh. 
Very good. All right. Um, look, there will be a bit of a checklist that you can download from the link below. Uh, Lee has kindly collated that together with everything that we talked about from bespoke design through to retrofitting a space. Um, and yeah, look, thank you so much for watching. Um, thanks for your time. Thanks, Dan. We'll see you again. Bye.